to English Tea Time. Hello, dear Nick friends. Welcome to ETT Virtual Time. Uh, I just want to say that we miss you guys and we hope that you'll be back at the dear Nick soon. For now, um, for today, I'm going to show you um, how to um, make something. So we're going to make chocolate chip cookies. Um, and I'm going to show you the process of doing that along with teaching you some vocabulary. So this is my recipe for chocolate chip cookies. Um, chocolate chip cookies are really popular in America. In America, it's probably the most um, popular cookie that we make. Um, and I've often found that um, Turks love chocolate chip cookies too. So different occasions that we use to bake chocolate chip cookies is sometimes just normal every day, like after school, mothers will make chocolate chip cookies for their children and the kids will um, eat their cookies with a glass of milk. We often make them for holidays and also um, we can, uh, when we go on a picnic or something like that, we would um, bake cookies. And so there's a difference that I want you to know between, we say we are baking cookies as opposed to cooking them, okay? So anytime we bake something, we put it in the oven. So when it goes in the oven, we're baking something, whether it's like meat or vegetables or cookies. When we put it in the oven, we bake it. As opposed to the word cook, when we want to cook something, we use the stove top. And so we put something on the stove and we get out our pots or our pans. And we put them on top, we light the fire and we cook something. But for chocolate chip cookies, we are going to Right now, uh, we're gonna mix together some ingredients and we're going to bake chocolate chip cookies. Okay, first, before we um, mix together our ingredients, I wanna show you um, our measuring um, devices that we use in America. And they're very different than um, you use here in Turkey. And so first of all, we have what we call the cups and the spoons that we use for recipes. The cups come in six different shapes or sizes, measuring devices. Um, this is one cup. And as you can see by looking at this um, coffee cup, it's about the same size for this bar dock. It's about the same amount. Um, when I measured this out, it was about 210 grams. So this is the largest measurement that we usually use. Um, and um, along with that is a half a cup. This is one cup, half a cup, three fourths of a cup, and a quarter of a cup. And then along with that, we have two thirds of a cup and a third of the cup that we might use in recipes. And we use these for dry ingredients, such as sugar or flour, or even wet ingredients like milk or water. Um, so those are the cups that we use. Um, in our recipes to explain how um, to measure out items. We also have spoons, okay? Measuring spoons is what we say. We have a tablespoon and half a tablespoon. And then we have a teaspoon, half a teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon. And so we might use this for small amounts of spices or even small amounts of liquid products. So we have our cups and our spoons. Along with that, we use a mixing bowl, okay? I have my baking sheet, okay? And our baking sheets will go in the oven. And then I will use this cookie scooper. When I get everything mixed together, I will use this in the dough and get out a small piece of dough and I'll flip it onto the cookie sheet. Or you can use just a regular spoon and get um, about this amount or this amount to make your cookie and make it into like a little ball. So those are the measuring devices. Now we're going to go over to the ingredients that we're going to use, okay? So we have, first of all, we have our dry ingredients. Okay, we have our flour, and this is the white fluffy stuff. Okay, as opposed to these flours, 
do not use these flowers in your cookie recipe. We want you to use the white fluffy flour, okay? And as you can see, those are spelled di differently, quite differently, but they're pronounced the same way, flour and flour. Okay, so we have our flour we're gonna put in. The other dry ingredients that we're gonna use is salt. And then we're gonna use baking soda. So we mix the dry ingredients together in our mixing bowl. Then we have our wet ingredients. Now, to start out our wet ingredients, first we're gonna use a dry ingredient, sugar, and we're gonna put that um, in the electric mixer. I'll show you my mixer in a little bit. And along with that, we're gonna mix it together with butter. Okay, so here's my butter, and um, I let it set out on the counter uh, before I used it so that it would be semi-soft, and I'm gonna combine it with the sugar. And so when that's combined together in my mixer and it uh, doesn't have any clumps in it, I'm going to add my eggs and then my vanilla. Now in America, the vanilla is a liquid form. And so that's why I would add it with my eggs. And I have actually ran out of my liquid form. And so I'm gonna use the Turkish version of the Shekeli vanilla. And I could add that in with my wet ingredients or with my dry ingredients. So I've combined my dry ingredients. I've now, um, I'll show you how to combine the wet ingredients. And our very last ingredient that we're going to use is our very favorite. It is the chocolate chips. And it's called chocolate chips because they're in little tiny sizes. You could also use different types of chocolate. You could use milk chocolate. You could use darker chocolate. You could also use nuts to add. Sometimes I will add walnuts um, in my cookies. You could also add raisins or any kind of dried fruit. So there's all sorts of recipes for chocolate chip cookies and they might add different ingredients at the end. But uh, for today, we're just gonna make, make uh, chocolate chip cookies. Okay, first I'm going to mix together or combine my um, dry ingredients. So I have, first of all, flour, and I need two and three fourths cup of flour. If I measure it and level it out, So two and three fourths a cup of flour. Then I'm going to measure out some salt and some baking soda. So my recipe says one teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. So I've got my measuring things here. This is kind of the medium size. stir together the dry ingredients, we're going to mix the wet ingredients together. So first of all, I'm going to add the butter. Yikes. Okay. Then I'm going to add, so I'm going to add the butter. That was a cup of butter. To that, I'm going to add one cup and half a cup of sugar. And then I'm gonna stir that together in the mixer. Hi. Okay, we're back again. And this is my electric mixer that I'm gonna use. We're gonna mix the sugar and the butter together. So I'm gonna turn it on. While that's going, I'm going to beat together my two eggs. to add my my vanilla my Turkish version 
So one packet. And as soon as this is mixed together really good, I'm going to add my eggs. Okay, and now I am mixing together my wet ingredients. When these are mixed well together, I'm going to add my dry ingredients. So I add a little bit. And I let it mix together. And then I'll add a little bit more. Okay, as you can see, all the ingredients are mixing together. Okay, the cookie dough has been mixed well, and so now I'm going to add the chocolate chips, about one cup of chocolate chips. And turn it on and let it mix. Okay, here's the finished product of the cookie dough, and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for at least half an hour. Hi everybody, I've got my cookie dough out of the refrigerator. I've scooped them onto the pan. I've got one more left, I'm gonna use my scooper. The oven is at 175 degrees. That last cookie on got my cookie pan, my baking sheet full of cookies, and I'm going to put it in the oven. And they'll go in there for 8 to 10 minutes. Okay guys, last step, taking the cookies out of the oven. It's been about 10 minutes now. And this is what they should look like when they're done.